So with the release of Android 11, you really have to wonder, what are the next things that are going to affect Android throughout this next year? Um, I think there's some obvious stuff. I think there's some not so obvious stuff. And I think there's topics I didn't really dig into. One example is mobile gaming. I think mobile gaming really is going to change things up. There's already talks about how in Android 12, there's going to be some loosening up of the restrictions on third-party app stores for some cases. And really, I think that speaks more to mobile gaming than anything else. There really are a lot of benefits by not installing unknown sources uh, for applications. Because again, Google Play is really the right repository to be installing apps from. With that said, if you enable that functionality, there are features that people aren't taking advantage of when downloading from a third-party app store. And of course, there's a bunch of reputational risk. So now, you know, that level of risk increases. 5G is another thing. We didn't really talk much about it, but in the latest version of Android Studio that supports 11, there's a 5G emulator. It'll be interesting to see how much 5G changes mobile. We probably won't realize it for a couple years, but it'll be interesting to see how that really does change the architecture that goes into developing mobile apps. Finally, Android Enterprise. We didn't talk about Android Enterprise, but Android Enterprise continues to kind of be a really interesting avenue for enterprises to go down, for managing mobile apps, for managing users in organizations. Uh, and every year it seems like things really do kind of get shooken up a little bit for organizations that use this. I think a big change for a lot of companies is the, de uh, the deprecation of device admin. And it kind of speaks to building a security program where you're testing security controls separate from a lot of these device controls. And I think it's worth keeping that in mind. And I think that's going to continue to grow as time goes on. So on the last note, I hope you found this really useful. We've provided some resources that I think will be helpful when you're actually digging through the Android 11 SDK, trying to understand what you should be using in your app, what's important, what's not. So be aware. I also included a link to that scope storage blog. I hope you find that helpful, and thanks for watching the video. Thanks so much for your time.